Martin, a sort of positive outcome to the match today, but a game that I thought at times we, we maybe huffed and puffed a little bit. Is that fair to say? No, get down, you negative man. <laughs> what, what more do you want? We've just got a good win. You know, I think we've got to be happy with that. We're, we're not at a point yet where we can be... Uh, too picky about the wins we've got to get wins and we got one today so I'm happy with that and then that's the thing joking aside we said at the end of comms you know the, the, the positive thing today is the fact that it must give everyone a, a nice confidence boost getting the three points in the bag yeah but we've won two out of our last three games I think sometimes you know I'm looking at the season more from when I arrived and I'm sure you're looking at the whole season but since the last few games we've been doing pretty well we've been picking up wins we've added some players to the squad that have helped us and we've got some good impact today um, from from our striker that's come in so we, we've got a lot to be positive about there's always things you can improve and I thought today was was always going to be a tough game because uh, East Fife are probably looking at it like I think they've got three games in a row at home this would be in the first maybe three or four and they'll have been targeting like we need X amount of points from these games to give ourselves a chance and so they were always going to be difficult to crack today um, and it, it proved that way but a clean sheet two goals a win away from home and uh, definitely a lot to be happy about couple of changes to your starting 11 uh, talk us through them uh, well Callum wasn't available today so he was out um, trying to think what were the yeah so we decided to put um, Craig McGuffey on the left side just to have a more of a, um, a winger out there in the in the first half um, and then as the game went on we brought Leon in and, and got Guff into the middle so we were able to make a few changes that, that, that seemed to work well for us um, and obviously with Kabaya getting the goal and goals in the second half that was nice a nice introduction to the Falkirk fans and, and a good start for him um, and, and I, I just think as well you know everyone's going who you know why aren't we signing anyone why aren't we doing this why aren't we doing that we're only I think three weeks into the window and we've uh, we've seen really three players because Anton's back but he was kind of like a new signing I thought Aaron Taylor Sinclair was probably one of the best players for us today um, and, and Kabai has gone and, gone and scored the goal for us uh, two goals for us so that's a start we still want to keep keep building keep getting better but hopefully that gives the Falkirk fans confidence in in what we're doing and who we're bringing in to what extent did the, the red card well I didn't think there was a huge amount of doubt about the decision did that make it trickier from a Falkirk perspective because East Fife then really condensed the gap between midfield and defence after that yeah in one way it did I think that at that moment I would have rather we just got the goal I think but um, the fact is it was it was a red card could have been last couple of weeks ago we could have had the same similar thing with um, the goalkeeper handling outside the box but anyway it, it was what it was I thought in the first half we dominated in that in that period we were in there half all the time but it was a, there was a lot of bodies in the box so it was quite hard to pick people out obviously we would probably like to improve on on our quality there but in the end we, we got the goals that we needed and we got the win and uh, we got a clean sheet and and that's just really important it's every win's important every win's um, something to be celebrated and you know we just got to step by step keep getting better and keep improving and that was a step today and Jay's and certainly in terms of an introduction he's made a, a real stamp on the proceedings today and he must have put himself right in your your thoughts for future matches now as well yeah he did he came in and he, he looked really lively and um, he looked he's quick and he can finish and that's a great you know those are great attributes to have for any any young player he's young he's enthusiastic and that'll do the world a good for confidence you know coming into a new team and getting two goals in half a game is going to make you feel good um, in terms of uh, that kind of boost as well, though, I thought the guys did, did really well. We noticed Ryan Williamson went off. Was that just I cramp? Think it was just a bit of cramp. Yep, right. yep. So nothing, nothing too serious. So yeah, we did have to make a few adjustments, and we were under pressure with the wind in our face there at the end. But I thought we stood up to that well, and, and in the end, um, we can be really happy with that. I think you know, getting wins is something you, is hard to get, so you have to enjoy it, and uh, you can always look at it later and analyse it and, and look at things you could have done better. But I think. For for us it's really about building confidence, helping the players realise that you're good players, we're a good team, we're going to go in the right direction, just calm down in, in moments where you're feeling pressure and let's get better. And that's perhaps a key point you've just said there about feeling pressure because the clean sheet's a big thing as well because East Fife started to, to commit more and more men forward in the final 10 minutes and ultimately when they, they brought one of the defenders up that's what allowed Jays to, to go through at the opposite end. Yeah, we stood up well to that because they're a big strong team and they put lots of balls into the box. There was a few corners in succession um, and we did well against all of those and, and looked strong. Our team's bigger and stronger than it was maybe even a few weeks ago uh, when I first started so I think that's something we want to continue to see um, you know develop because a lot of times the defending in, in this league so far is, a, is long balls balls into the box set plays um, and so it's things that we need to really be good at and defend well and the point you made regarding transfers I won't ask the usual question but I take it the, the message is just 
patience is, is key just now? Yeah, well, I think we've made progress in that area already, and I think people probably realise that. Um, but at the same time, we are still working hard to see if we can add to the squad. We want to get as many good players here as we, we can, but we also recognise we've got a lot of good players and we've got confidence in them as well. And it's just, I think for um, a lot of the players, it's just helping them get on the same page with what we want. We, we know there's a lot of um, areas for us to improve, but in some ways, you know, we're really, this is like a pre-season, we've played four games. So in, normally in a pre-season, you would have longer than this to get your team playing the way you want to. So I'm sure there's a lot, a lot more to come. Here's hoping, Martin. Congratulations on the win today and thanks for your time. Thank you. Appreciate it.